Hey guys, Edbud here, welcome to my channel. If you haven't been here before, it's the first time you've landed here, I specialise in shoe and running gear reviews. I'm a non-elite runner from the southwest of England in the UK. I welcome you to the channel. Please consider hitting that subscribe button down in the bottom corner here. There's lots and lots of videos, I've kind of tried to section them up for you into some playlists, so some kind of running related content, lots and lots of shoe and running gear reviews. So enjoy your time here, you're very welcome. So I'm going to give you a half marathon training update today. This was the last kind of major week of training before the Salisbury half marathon next weekend. So it featured lots and lots of speed work. There's loads of sessions to get through, so let's get to it. So last Saturday, saw a quick bimble around the Henstridge Park Run. It's one I've done before. I'll throw a card up here to an older video which features that park run. It's not too far away from my house. I have to be honest, I kind of got up on the Saturday, was feeling a little bit hazy. Shall I go in out and do a park run today? Maybe it was pushing things a bit too far after last week's speed training, but I still went along and did it anyway. It's a relatively small park run, and it turned out it was in fact the anniversary of the park run there. It only started a year ago, so everybody else was dressed out like pirates. Uh, there was one guy dressed as a dinosaur, um, and there was just me in my normal running gear. I felt a little bit underdressed, to be honest with you. You know, I like to look my best for all the videos, but certainly at this park run, felt a little bit underdressed. But well done to all those park runners there. Lots and lots of kids as well. Really great to see lots of parents out early on a Saturday morning with their kids kind of trailing around. Everyone doing a bit of exercise. Hey, that's what all this is about, right? So that park runs a little bit on grass, a little bit on some kind of gravelly tarmac. It's at an airfield actually, which is still in use. I kept a bit in reserve for knowing that I had a very, very hard session the next day. So finished that park run in 22 minutes, five seconds. Came in about eighth position. There were some guys flying in front of me. There was one chap I spoke to at the start line and that guy, man, he could move. Incredible running for a Saturday morning there. That guy's got a incredible future running ahead of him. But at seven minutes, three seconds per mile pace, I was kind of happy with that. Came home and had some nice food. My wife cooked some really nice food that day, so uh, she's, she's fantastic. She really does help in terms of recovery for me. There's some incredible breakfast that she served up of recent time. So uh, yeah, Charlotte. What a great lady. So as I say, the next day I had a really, really hard run ahead of me. It was going to be 15 miles, so a mile either side of the half marathon distance at 7 minutes per mile target pace. I opted for the Gakuso Vaporfly 4%. It is the shoe I'm considering using for my sub 1 hour 30 half marathon attempt at the Salisbury Half Marathon next weekend. This is the one, I really do love this shoe. I've got been holding it back in reserve a little bit, not wanting to use it too much, but I thought let's give this a shot over that half marathon training distance and see how it fares. By magic of television. This isn't television. You might be watching this on a television. You might be watching it on your smartphone or your tablet or a games console. Anyway, I digress. Beautiful weather for that session, the sun came out, it was just right, a little bit of breeze, I couldn't have wished for better conditions. In fairness, the legs were pretty tired from the night before, I had a musical performance which I thought was actually going to be a lot closer than it was, but it turned out it was actually near Bristol. So very, very tired after that, but hey, it's always good to try out one of those long training sessions on tired legs, you know, what sort of performance can you get out of yourself? when you're already worn down a little bit. Hey, that's what life's all about, right? Kind of getting through those difficult situations that you might end up in when you're still perhaps not 100%. So all character building stuff. I decided to take a bit of a break in the midpoint of the training session, around about seven miles, just to take on a bit of water and to take a gel. I don't really like running with loads of stuff like on me. I don't really like having gels and water bottles and all that kind of stuff. So I decided to kind of loop back. I did a couple of laps of a specific loop and came back, had a bit of water and refreshed myself. A bit of sustenance was required. So I came in about one hour, 34 minutes and 15 seconds. Pretty happy with that time, considering that it was, you know, a time trial. Uh, there wasn't any competition. I didn't have anybody else running with me. Average pace was a little bit off that target. I had about seven minutes, 10 seconds, I think, is average pace. So pretty happy with that effort 
all things being considered. GPS strength is a bit patchy on that route, certainly in the first kind of two or three miles of that loop that I undertook for this training session. So I always take it with a little bit of a pinch of salt. Some of those averages were a little bit lower for those first few miles, but all in all, quite happy with the overall time and the effort that I put in. Legs felt pretty good afterwards too, so taking all those positives and it leaves me feeling quietly confident. Rest day the next day, certainly needed it. Was pretty worn out from the gig and sort of weekend exploits and doing the training session, so took a rest day off. I was back to it on the Tuesday, nice easy miles. Three miles, 5K, and I utilized, as you've probably seen in my other videos of the last couple of days, the New Balance Fuel Cell Rebels. Talked quite extensively about this shoe already. You guys know my initial views, and they're certainly very positive. Felt pretty good on the easy miles, and utilized them again later on that day. I had an eight mile run planned that evening. It was gonna be a couple of miles of warm up, and then several repeats, I think it was three repeats, at two kilometers, round about my 10K pace. I managed to get somewhere near that 10K pace. I think the first one was about six minutes 44, the second was about six minutes 51, and then I really, really hit the wall, seven minutes 05 for the very last one. I had some 200 meter recoveries in between, and I really needed them. I'll freely admit that probably wearing pretty much brand new, unfamiliar shoes, isn't the best way to go about doing an interval session like that, but hey, if you're gonna test these shoes out, you've gotta use them for their intended purposes, and certainly the Fuel Cell Rebels are supposed to be a fast shoe. So a testament to those shoes, really, they had a good go at the session, and so did I. So being honest, really, I think the Turbo's actually here, Turbo 2's probably would have been a better choice of shoe for that session. You know I like the Pegasus Turbo 2's for those intervals and those repeat type sessions, so I think probably in hindsight they would have been a better choice. So the next day I utilised the old, new, the old, the new, I only got them the other day. I utilised these new shoes, the New Balance Fuel Cell Rebels, for a steady seven miles at that seven minutes 30 pace. I have been experimenting with the iSmooth Run app recently over the last two or three weeks. It's really been helping out a lot actually in terms of the somewhat more complex intervals and kind of repeat sessions that I've been doing. So really enjoying that app, lots that you can configure on there, but I have found that it's kind of a bit pernickety in terms of GPS and it was giving me lots of slightly incorrect information. I kept being told that I was probably over pace or right on pace when in fact, when I look back at the paces and the splits of the session, I was well under, probably about 10, 15 seconds per mile under the target pace. I think on that session I came in around about seven minutes, 21 seconds per mile, around about 52 minutes. So I was just a little bit under the target pace and the target time for that session. But it's all good, that's fine, I'm happy with that. Better be a little under than over. So that leads me on to the last tough session of the week. It was six miles with three miles of fartlek between six minutes per mile pace up to eight minutes per mile pace. So I always aim for that kind of six minutes 30 if I can, a little bit under that target half marathon pace that I've set myself. So I used the Pegasus Turbo 2s for this session. I knew I needed a shoe that was gonna be soft, responsive, give me a little bit of propulsion, give me a little bit of push, but it's also very light. I was really, really pleased with my performance on that run. I hit about seven minutes, two seconds per mile average pace in around about 43 minutes, 52 seconds. So really, really pleased with that. I kind of topped it up to a 10K distance in the end. I thought, hey, why not? It's not like Nike have just put out a, you know, 10K challenge thing to get new shoes or anything like that. Do I really need pink Vaporfly next percents? I don't know, do I? Of course I do. So in that session, I managed to hit about four of the miles at six minutes 51 per mile, which is nuts. I was really pleased with that. The turbos, I was just flying yesterday. I'm not sure what it was, whether I just had lots of sleep, whether I just felt really good, it really was happening for me. I really do find those fartlek sessions fun. You can really push the pace a little bit and then kind of recover while you're still moving forward. So certainly very promising speed work this week and on the steady miles, I managed to hit that target pretty easily. So all positive signs for next week. So lots of rest now today, it being Friday and then tomorrow just some light bopping along 
I know Seth the Moore's got that fantastic phrase, you know, just bopping along, doing those easy miles. It'll be that tomorrow, gonna hit maybe nine minutes per mile, just do it real, real easy. Saving those legs, because I'm gonna undertake a 10K, well, it's a race. I'm gonna treat it as a time trial on Sunday, the Char Chaser 10K. It's at a town which is very close by. It's only gonna take me sort of 20 or so minutes to get there. I'm looking forward to that. So I've had a good look at the uh, course on Google Maps to actually see what it's like. There's some gravelly kind of sections there, but I'm certainly going to go with the Vaporfly 4% for this. I don't really see any point in going for anything else. The turbos are great, but I think I can probably push the pace a little bit more in those 4%. There's a couple of quite challenging hills within this race. I think it'll be a good test. I've been doing a fair amount of hill training of recent time. Hopefully those sessions will give me that little bit of an advantage. It all kicks off at a relatively local point in Chard. There's a health centre there. I think there's only a few Yeovil Town Road Running Club members doing the race on Sunday, so need to make sure that I don't let the team down. Going to aim for about 42 minutes if possible. That will get me a PR over the 10k distance, but as long as I put in a good hard effort, 100%, I'll be happy with that. So, do look out for some footage of the race on Monday's video. As usual, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Please make sure you comment below, hit that subscribe button, and also like the video. Share it with other runners if you can. My name's Ed Budd, and I'll be seeing you.